In physics, we classify forces according to whether they are conservative or non-conservative. So, for conservative forces, the key distinction is that kapag yung force ay conservative, the work it does is stored in a form that can be released as a kinetic energy at a later time. Conservative forces are forces that store energy for later release with no loss. One example of conservative energy is the gravity. For example, in this figure, imagine lifting a box of mass of M from the floor to a height of, say for example, H. And para malift natin yung box na yan with a constant speed, yung force na kailangan natin i-exert against gravity is mass times gravity, opposite dun sa weight ng box. Since meron tayong upward distance, yung work na maipoprovide natin dun sa box is equal to yung weight times the height or mass times gravity times the height. Yun yung work. And in the process, magpo-provide tayo dun sa box ng equivalent amount of kinetic energy. Thus, yung work done by conservative force can be recovered later as a kinetic energy. Again, in this figure, pag nilift natin yung box against gravity with the constant speed, it takes work na mass times gravity times the height. And when the box is released naman, Gravity does the same work on the box as it falls. Gravity is a conservative force. For non-conservative forces, in contrast, ito yung forces na nag-de-dissipate ng energy to other forms such as thermal energy and sound energy. And unlike conservative forces, sa conservative forces again, nare-recover siya later as a kinetic energy. Sa non-conservative forces, Yung nadidissipate niyang energy to other forms, hindi na siya nare-recover. One main example ng non-conservative forces is yung tinatawag natin na friction. In this figure, para may tulak natin yung box with the mass of M across the floor with constant speed, kailangan mag-exert tayo ng force of magnitude na equal dun sa frictional force kasi opposite. Magre-resist yung floor, magbibigay ng frictional force and kailangan ganun kalaki or higit pa yung maibigay mong force opposite doon para mag-move yung box. After natin may galaw yung box with say a distance of D, yung work na nagawa natin is equal to yung frictional force times the distance. And in this case, kapag na-release naman natin yung box, it simply stays put. Walang may provide na work yung friction on it after nating bitawan yung box. And yung work done by a non-conservative force cannot be recovered later as a kinetic energy, gaya ng nabanggit natin kanina. Instead, it is converted to other forms of energy. For example, kapag ka yung friction na yan, pwede siya ma-convert into warming or a heat energy. And dito sa box natin, for example, and this is a visual comparison of conservative and non-conservative forces.